Hi, don't forget to like and share this video and also subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the notification button so whenever I upload motivational content, you will be informed. Hello, I am Afro Lansford Banson and this is Words of Wisdom. As we continue our discussion, I want to encourage you to like and comment on this video, share this video, subscribe and click the notification button on the subscription so that whenever I upload motivational content, you will enjoy it. My YouTube channel now is Words of Wisdom. I really encourage you to benefit from it. So we have been looking at the psychology of achievement and the last discussion was on expectations part one that you need to really have expectations for your life if you are going to succeed and these expectations mean you need to have goals a lot of the times we set long-term goals and we don't set short-term goals the purpose of the short-term goals is to enable you to really enjoy success and see the progress of your life so in this second part, I'm going to encourage you to have a lot of short-term goals so that you can have this sense of achievement. Because the short-term goals give you this feeling of satiety. As you're working towards your 20-year goal, your 30-year goal, your 10-year goal, have your one-month, two-month, three-month, four-month, five, six-month goal, have your one-year goal, have these short-term goals that will enable you to move towards success. And in having short-term goals, one of the things you need to do is you need to sometimes sideline all the goals. So instead of them having many different activities in the day that all contribute towards your different long-term goals, you can just take half of your day and compress all your attention on two activities so that by the end of the week, you have accomplished two of your goals. For example, let's say you want to buy a television or you want to buy a laptop. And that is your goal, that by the end of August, you want to buy a laptop. But you also have investments that you want to make at the end of that month. Clothes you want to buy, a new phone you want to buy. And so you are making a small deposit for the phone, a small deposit for the television. Small, uh, uh, you buy one or two of the clothing items. You buy just one pair of shoes. You buy a piece of this and a piece of that. What you should do is that focus on one. Okay, I'm going to get the phone this month. And then stop all the others. Focus your attention, pay for the phone, get your phone and know that you've accomplished this goal. Or focus all your attention on the television, get the television and know that you've accomplished that goal. Or focus all your attention on the clothes, get the clothes and know that you've accomplished that goal. Instead of doing superior, superior, little, little by little, little here, little there, focus your attention on one and finish it. It will come with some heat, but the achievement of that goal will really bring you progress. It could be that maybe you are buying a plot of land and then you, you are thinking of making payments over a period of one year. You can compress it into three months or four months and then just drop every other thing, every other financial commitment and finish that goal. So you need to really focus on living your life in the now. Don't live your life tomorrow. Live it in the now. Now is all you have. Tomorrow is not yours. And when tomorrow comes, you call it today. So live your life in the now. So that when tomorrow comes, you also live it in the now. It doesn't mean be wasteful. It doesn't mean don't plan for the future. Plan for the future, but live in the now. So after you've got your goals, draw simple plans to achieve your goal. Simple plans do not mean that they are easy to execute. It just means that they are simple. Keep your plans to just three steps, four steps maximum. Too much planning and strategizing and too much, too many steps in the plans tend to paralyze you. So just keep your step, your, your plan simple. So let's say your goal is that by the end of this year, you want to get married or you want to get into a relationship and then get married by the end of February next year. So step one, get into a relationship. That's step one which means you make yourself more friendly to others, which means you, you chat with people more often, which means you open yourself up more, okay? Which means that you are, your standards for your ideal man or woman is not so high, so get into a relationship. Step two, 
start saving and investing for my marriage, for the wedding. And then step three, plan and have a wedding with your husband or your wife. That's it, three steps. Instead of having 16 steps, and, and they, when you see 16, like, they all tend to confuse you. Just compress it. Because you know that in getting into a relationship, you know what you need to do to get into a relationship. Step two, planning, uh, saving and investing and buying the things you need to buy for uh, the, the wedding. You know the things that are involved. So at each stage, you know what you need to do. So just have simple plans that don't paralyze you, but rather energize you. Review your goals and plans every day. No matter what happens, make sure that you review your goals and plans every single day. So here's an example of a goal. I am happily married to a wonderful person between the months of December 2020 and January 2021. So get into an intelligent relationship, save money for a simple but effective wedding, then have an executive wedding with just a few people. Bingo, you're married, you're done. Example number two. I earn an income of that is 100% of what I now earn between September 2020 and June 2021. So that's the goal. So here's a three-step plan. Find people who have increased their income by 100% and learn from them. There are lots of videos on YouTube about practical ways you can increase your income. So learn from those people. Number two, start a side business that does not demand too much capital. Start a side business that you can start with 100, 200, 300 Ghana cities or so. Not much capital. Drastically reduce social media interactions and do simple exercise to make you more fit so that you can engage in the side business that you are doing. So that's another example of one goal and three step plan. Let's look at a third example of one goal and three step plan. I complete a degree course between 2021 and 2022. So here's your plan. Search for a suitable and flexible online course and watch videos of professionals who are in that field. That's one. Two, register online and start. Three, develop performance skills by watching videos of professionals in that field or professional trainers in that field. So while you are reading the course, you are watching these videos of these trainers and they are really helping you. So these are just examples of how you can set goals and have three step plans in achieving that goal. Alright, so let's move on to the next point, which is take massive action. Once you set your goal and once you draw your plan, take massive action. Now, this is where a lot of people mess up. They draw plans, they set goals, but they don't take action. People have all kinds of wonderful plans in their diaries and on sheets of paper, but they've never taken action. Put in all your energy and effort. You can do this, so get going. Start something. Do something every day that will move you closer, even if it means something small. But if you can do something small, then you can make that something small, unique, special, worthwhile. Take action. Take steps. Do something with your life. Don't waste your life. You've written the goals down. You've planned. Now take action. Your plans are worthless if you don't take action. Your goals are powerless if you don't take action. Action is what gives life to your plans. Action is what gives life to your goals. So I encourage you, take action. It's critical as you take action. And as you take action, you will see results. Results are only seen when you take action. Now, the next part is that, number four, is that as you take action, watch the results you are getting and modify your action. So you set your goals, you, you plan, you take action, and then as you get results, modify your action so that you can get the results faster or you see mistakes you are making and you correct the mistakes. So you course correct yourself till you eventually get to the place that you want to get to. You are full of power. You are full of intelligence. You are full of energy. You are full of wisdom. Listening to me and getting all psyched up doesn't get anything done. It is the doing that gets things accomplished. This has been Afro Lance with Banson and this is Words of Wisdom. Don't forget to comment on this page. Don't forget to like this page. Don't forget to share it. 
subscribe and click the notification button and i'm going to upload a new video very soon god richly bless you